Hello guys, welcome back to SimUK, welcome back to Model Builder. Got a bit of good news. It turns out that this case over here might well be where the dragon goes. Look at that. I would have preferred that it showed me the dragon over here, but when I tried to put it in, it said it doesn't go in this cabinet. And then I would have figured out immediately where it was supposed to go. But I just loaded up the game just to see what was different and then realized that this box was glowing. And I thought, oh, I see. I get it. I understand now. I've got to say that looks pretty good in there, doesn't it? That looks a little bit like a ping pong ball. I could have done better with that. But for a first attempt, not bad. For a rookie, I'll say that's good enough. Right, we've got to read an email from Joy. Uh, is it this one? No, it's this one. I hope you're enjoying your time in the workshop. It's so well equipped. I'm almost jealous. Well, a little bit. I bet you can feel Stan's presence there. Uh, yeah, hyphen missing. I hope you make good use of it. And how, how, hyphen missing, how's it going with the model I sent you? Did you read the note? Yes, I read it. By the way, the prop looks amazing. I knew you could do it. Your grandpa has the guts to take on the challenge himself instead of giving it to a professional sculptor. Anyway, I was thinking about that note. I've always considered Stan's work to be unique. But now I'm reading more about how he put his emotions and talent into his work. There will never be a master modeler like Stan again. I think we should look for some of his other models. Try to collect the most significant pieces he worked on. I might even have an idea of where to find the next one. How about I help you find them? It'll be like a treasure hunt. Fun, huh? I'll contact you as soon as I learn something. Woohoo! Level 2. You have lear earned, learned, a new experience level and unlocked new items in the shop. Fantastic. No current jobs, except new jobs via email or start a new project in the workbench. Well, let's see what Harry has to say. Dear modeler, I happen to be in need of your services if you currently have free time. And even if not, I'm sure we can arrange something that could convince you to squeeze this little job in. Want to get to the premiere of the latest blockbuster and meet some celebrities or get a ticket to the front row of a game? You got it. But here's the thing. Well, you see, it's my business partner's birthday and I, unlike him, have a lousy memory. I forgot. So as quick as you can, using the tools to speed up the process, I need an assembled and painted submarine. Get in there with the submarine. It doesn't need to be fancy, just simple colours and some decals for detail. I tried to do that myself, well, my PA tried, but I barely managed to glue the bigger parts together and I didn't even start the paint job. Oh, you're probably curious. Why a submarine? It's a metaphor, since Michael is a bit of a secretive person. From Harry. P.S. Do it ASAP, and I wasn't kidding about the introduction to a celebrity. Ooh! Go to the workbench and select an open project. Okay. So um, in the background of uh, this game, I think this game is superb. I'm sure you guys do too. I know I've got a couple of concerns about a few little areas, but I'm sure they can be fixed without too much issue. Um, I'm also trying to put together something very exciting, but I don't want to let the cat out of the bag too soon. Just know that this game may possibly be expanding into some very exciting areas if I can get some stuff to work, if I can sort of push some things through. So watch this space, guys. Watch this space. For now, though, let's jump on the workbench. Job for a lawyer. Is a lawyer with a bad memory. Oh, goody. So this is a level 5 build, 59 pieces. One three five four zero or one how do you how do you how do you say that? One three hundred and fiftieth scale or a scale of one to three fifty, something like that. 
You know what I mean. Let's jump in. Okay, so this is looking very interesting. It looks like all the detail is on the top. The side bit here looks a little bit shy of detail. I've been playing a lot of Silent Hunter recently and I kind of, I know this is a version seven, but I kind of would have expected a bit more detail along the side here. I don't know. Let's put it together and see how it looks. So it appears that we have a bunch of sort of large pieces already pre-assembled, not in the spruce or the sprue, whatever the hell it's called. I know you guys are trying to educate me in model building and I appreciate it. I'm learning as I go. Let's have a look-see here. I thought it might be this piece. So we'll grab that. Actually, that does look quite good, doesn't it? Something, something about that shape really gets me. I, re I, d I don't really know what it is, but I think submarines are absolutely glorious. I really do. All right. There is our basic submarine shape with the planes at the bottom set in dead, dead level. It would be nice if you could like adjust these so you could sort of put them in a pose and, you know, maybe have a, a torpedo coming out. Of, I'm getting ahead of myself, I know, but I just love this game and I can see all the possibilities. That's the thing. That's what's getting me. Some delicate parts here, look. These are the bits that I would accidentally break off if I was doing this for real. And that's that's one of the things I think about this game is that it's a brilliant sort of practice. Like if I bought a proper uh, submarine model, I'd be too scared to start it. I really, genuinely would. As much as I'd want to do it, I'd be too scared to do it. But if I could have a little practice of the model first, then I'd be more confident. I'd know what to expect, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's press on. What the hell is this bit? I'm guessing that is the base. What is this piece? Where does this go? Ah, so that is the top. So what is this bit? What is this? Oh, it's like a fin that goes on the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. Do you know, I don't know if I've ever noticed that on a submarine before. And that'd be su su that would surprise... I'm going to have to have a look now. I have to go fire up some games and go and have a look. I'm sure it's there. I'm sure it's an accurate model. It looks to be an accurate model. But I just never really noticed that before. All right, moving on. Before I digress too far. Now, some of you were bitching and moaning at me about how obvious it was that a piece had to go on this way. It isn't about that, guys. Trust me. I should be able to put that piece on in any bloody direction I choose. Because I'm building the model, I get to dictate how I do it. Or I should. Should. Emphasis on should. So if I grab this piece here, you see that? Now that is completely the opposite way around to this. The reality of it was, in previous episodes, is that sometimes it's tricky to get the piece in the right place in order for it to connect some just sometimes just certain pieces a lit a little bit quirky the more you play it the, the easier it is to overcome those little quirky issues but yeah that's what it was it wasn't because the model was facing a different way to the diagram that's not how it works right it looks like we're going to be i'm presuming this is the this must be the cannon as opposed to the uh Slack gun. 
I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Put it together and we'll find out. You see how that blue piece there, I've got to try and line it up with the blue piece. But if I rotate it, say, that way, then the blue piece is... Do you see? That's how it's supposed to work. So it's just that on some occasions, the blue bit that you're supposed to put the model piece into is just a little bit tricky to get to. Just occasionally. It doesn't happen very often. It's not a problem. See, like there. You move it too far, it just pops out. Anyway, right, I think I've discussed that enough. Um, let's have a look-see here. It looks like I'm putting both cannons together at the same time, which is... Can I do that? Ah, oh, it's a shame. That's a shame. I was thinking that would be cool. So that looks like the um, uh, anti-aircraft gun to me. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's what it looks like. Let's move on. Oh, so we're going to immediately place these. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought we were going to be building each of these parts individually. And I'm, I'll be honest, a little disappointed that we're not. For a level five, that seems awfully very much complete already. Now, whether it's because my level is so low that they're just keeping it nice and easy for me, I don't know. But I was really hoping I was going to build all of these intricate bits. But okay. That's not how it is right now. That's fine. Looking good. Right. So I think, believe it or not, that is complete. Oh, but we are going to do some painting. Nice. Use the base painting tool on the assembled model. Okay. Base coat tool. Oh, good. I didn't think this was going to be in the game. I'm glad it is. Use this tool to apply a basic color scheme to the entire model. Click anywhere to continue. What? Shortcut much? Wish it was like that in real life. Okay, so we are going to be doing some. Use the paintbrush as shown in the manual. The essential paint tool with a variety of sizes. Okay, so you can actually do paint. Oh, this is good. This is very good. Right, control. I want to zoom that bit into my face and I'm still struggling with the controls right, this is no good this is no good uh, oh it's a shame I can't bring up the menu yeah okay well it's going to save my progress right 63% of the way through I just want to come out and Options? Ah, oh, settings. Gameplay, mouse sensitivity, blah, 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 blah. What? Why is, why have I got quality set to low? Oh. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, I didn't like that. It didn't like that. Whatever I did there, it did not like that at all. Right, so the quality is now high. I'm not going to mess about with anything else because it's not the full release. I don't know whether it's ready for all that sort of tweaking. So we'll just leave it as is for now. Um, yeah, okay. Here's the thing. We definitely need... A list of all the controls because I've already forgotten how to do it and now there seems to be no way of discovering how to do it oh gosh is that gonna settle down oh god no that is killing my FPS all right Let's just put that back as it was. It's 
So considering this is a low graphical level, it, it, it looks bloody awesome, doesn't it? I don't have the right graphics card, it seems, for, uh, for advanced. Right, okay, let's get into this. Flickety, 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 flick. We have the model. Oh, went too far. Too far. Step eight. Right. Whoa. With just that bit there. Right. Now, what do I do? Is it the white dot or is it the bit of paint? Or is it either? All right, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Let's go for a slightly bigger size brush. Oh, I see. Right, so I'm going to paint over that bit. How do I get a really sharp edge? Is it just going to be by hand? Oh, man. See, in no way do I think that's perfection, but I have at least tried. Okay. The funny noise it makes when you're painting, I've got to be honest. See, look, I've gone slightly over the line, and as a model maker, that must drive you absolutely potty. Did it just paint that whole bit for me? I think it did, you know. Oh, what the bananas is this? How did that happen? Oh, man. Okay, I'm having some issues with the painting at the moment. I think the idea... Why is it doing that now? It wasn't doing that before. Oh, size five. What? Why does size five paint the entire thing, but size 25 only paints the bit you want to paint? I've only kind of done it again. I think there are, I mean, it's, it's, it's a new game, so you would kind of expect it. There are a few little issues, I think, just need sorting out bugger <laughs> so annoyed me that has all right oh my god okay what is that icon from who knows i bet you all know do you know of course you know it's from das boot I had to think about how I was going to say that. Whether I was going to say the boat or das boat or whatever. Um, I can't get that to... F well, maybe I can. And what decal goes at the front? That might even be the correct U-boat uh, number. I'm not entirely sure. 
Oh, look, Q&E. That's handy. WNS. Oh, man, that's I think that's what I was trying to do before, right? Yeah. Wow, that took me such a long time to remember. There you go. That's how you do it. WASD to move the boat around and then oh, see if I'd have known that 10 minutes ago. I would have done a much better job. Right, what I was trying to do was rotate it. That looks pretty good. What's this? It's a shame you can't. Oh, hang on. Okay, it just goes on the side. I was say it's a shame you can't zoom in on this bit. But I suppose you kind of can. Right, here we go. See, that's so much easier. Oh, man. So frustrating. I just completely forgot what the what the controls were. By the time I remembered again, I'd almost finished. Right, so that's looking jolly awesome. Now there are some problems. For example, I have screwed up. Uh, some parts of the build. I think this is a slightly lighter brown, isn't it? Is it going to be that one? There we go. Right, so that's that bit fixed. It hasn't asked us to paint the boat base. Oh, hang on, if I paint that, does that paint over the sticker? I, I'm not going to try it, just because I'm scared that I won't be able to fix it if I do. So, if I get the paint brush and find a gun metal that's going to be too dark isn't it i need a much lighter gray sky gray i'm going to totally ruin this aren't i all right do you know what i'm just going to i'm just going to panic out i'm just going to accept the fact that i screwed up there and uh, finish the project. Oh, that's nice. Well, it, I, I don't think I deserve these stars, but I'll take them. Purely so that I can progress and show you guys what else is in the game. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Is this something you're really excited to see? Are you um, planning on buying it? Are you going to wait and see how it is at release? What are your thoughts on the game so far? Any which way, I think it's incredible, and I hope you do too. I hope I'm doing at least half a decent job of showcasing you what the game is all about. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed today's episode, and let me know your thoughts on the game. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.